Hi, in this video you will learn how to use the advanced custom fields plugin to import and export user profile data. You will be able to create a user profile page with custom fields, import data from a CSV file and export data to a CSV file. Let's start. Now let's see the custom fields I have created for users. So these are the custom fields I have created for users. Here you can see it is assigned for the user. Let's check the custom fields that is created inside user or not. Here you can see all the custom fields are listed. Now let's import values to this ACF meta fields created for users. Let's see the CSV file I have prepared. So this is my CSV file. Start with user login. Provide your user login value. And in user password field, provide any password for the user. In the first name field, provide a user first name. And in the last name field, provide the user last name. In the nickname field, provide a nickname for the user. In the user email field, provide, a, provide the user email. In the user URL field, provide the user's profile URL or any other URL. In the user nice name field, provide a nice name for the user. In the role field, provide the user role value. You can provide it as or administrator, subscriber, author, editor, etc. In the biographical info field, provide a description for the user. In the billing first name field, provide a first name for the user. In the billing last name field, provide a last name. In the billing company field, provide a company name. In the billing address field, provide the addresses. In the billing city field, provide the city name. In the billing postcode field, provide the postcode. In the billing state field, Provide the state name and in billing country field, provide the country name. In the billing phone field, provide a phone number. In the billing email field, provide the email name. Same like billing details, you can also fill up shipping details. Next we can see the custom fields I have created for users. In the text field, provide a text value in a single line. In the text area field, provide text values in multiple lines. In the number field, provide a number. In the range field, provide the range number value. In the email field, provide the user email or any other email. In the URL field, provide a URL. In the password field, provide a password. In the image field, provide any image URL. In the file field, provide your WordPress media library URL. In the visibility editor field, provide any text with HTML tags. In the OMBAT field, 
provide a YouTube URL. In the select field, provide the select value, provide the value to be selected. In the checkbox field, provide any multiple values to be checked. In the radio button field, provide a button value to select. In the button field, provide a value to be selected. In the true or false field, provide a value 0 for false and 1 for true. In the link field, provide your backtrace URL, page or post URL. In the post object field, provide your backtrace page, post or custom post name. Provide multiple values in pipeline in comma separator. In page link field, provide a page link. You can separate multiple values with comma separator. In the relationship field, provide your backpress page post or any custom post names in comma separator. In the taxonomy field, provide the taxonomy values. You can specify multiple taxonomies in comma separator. In the user field, provide the user IDs. In the date picker field, provide the date value in this format. In the date and field, provide date and values. In the time picker field, provide time value. In the color picker field, provide the color values in Hexa code. In gallery field, provide multiple image URLs in comma separator. So this is my CSV file. Let's import this CSV with WP Ultimate CSV Importer plugin and check the results. This is the plugin page inside WordPress dashboard. You can upload your CSV using any of these locations. Now I am just uploaded from my desktop. Next, as I am importing the values newly, so I select new item. And here you have to choose the post type. Next, we have to map the CSV headers with backpress code fields. The fields are automatically mapped if your CSV headers and backpress fields are same. Otherwise, you have to map using this drop down method. Make sure all the fields are mapped. The import will be done based on the mapping. So all the fields are mapped. Here you have to save the mapping with a name to reuse in future import or update. Next, enable this image handling, feature image handling if you are importing any external images to your media. Finally, in the import section, you can schedule this import process 
by clicking on do you want to schedule this import option and provide values like schedule date, schedule frequency, time zone and schedule time. Now I instantly import the values into my WordPress website. So I click on import button. The import is processing. Wait for the import to complete. The import is 100% completed. Now let's check the log. Click on user profile. So here you can see all the values are imported and also the values are imported inside the ACF custom fields. So this is how you import ACF meta fields to your users. Now let's see how to export users data with ACF meta fields from your WordPress website. For this, I'm using the CSV Importer Pro plugin. Inside the plugin, click on the export tab. Next, choose the module users to export users data. I have six users. Next, provide a file name to export. And choose any file type here. You can split and export the record if you have many records. You can use this advanced features to export any particular user's data. You can also schedule the export process using this option. Now I export the values. So click export button. The export is completed. Click download button to save the file in your local. So this is the exported file. All the ACF field values are exported successfully. Hope this video is useful for you. Thank you for watching.